Before I get on with a well-written, thoughtfully composed speech, I would like to take a moment to thank all of our family and friends who have helped Jamie and Ben along the way. The monumental task of claiming the life is much appreciated. I especially want to thank my wonderful wife for 33 plus years, Amy. Our persistence and attention to detail, including 17 plus spreadsheets and a complete binder with multiple pets, she was able to accomplish this feat while working together in perfect harmony and bliss with Jamie during the entire process. <laughs> Which, as we all can see, made this day very special for the new viewers. I want to go on record to be the first person to recommend Amy with a five star Yelp review as a wedding plan. Especially if she decides to change careers or even take a second job and supplement any future Scott family weddings. <laughs> now on with the part. Welcome everyone. We're so happy that you're all here. Welcome everyone. We're so happy that you're here to share this day with us. We feel so very lucky you have come from near and far with all of us and support Jamie and Ben in our family today. This has been in the making for a very long time. When Ben and Jamie first met in October 16, nearly seven years ago, there was a deep connection from the start, or so it seemed to from our point of view. They met on the very first day of the Royal Caribbean contract and apparently the sparks began to fly. We don't even think it took too long before they were a couple of people. We've heard that now. We had heard a little bit about Ben, and I may have even creeped on his Facebook page before we met him in person in the spring of 2017 when we cruised on the Independence Sea. He was very tall, blue eyed, blonde haired young man who looked like a member of One Direction. <laughs> and he had a charming accent, was a very easy going manner. Uh, uh, it was obvious that Jamie had fallen, and Ben had fallen for sure. He seemed like a fit right from the start. He ate dinner with us, spent time with Sam and Matt, teaching the tricks of the flow rider, and one evening just took the three the three of them took family photos together without Jamie as she was working that evening. We still laugh about that. Their friend Nicole, who they met on the ship, was there to witness it all, and she is here tonight as part of the bridal party. We really knew Jamie was hooked after the contract had ended because she brought Ben home to Pittsburgh, whisked him off to her favorite place on the planet, Emma Coffin Cave. They spent the summer working with Jamie's friends became Ben's friends. Samantha and Matthew got to know him on their own terms and their own terms. Ben was immersed in Jamie's world. Her camp, her happy place, her friends, her life. He must have liked it because he stuck around. After camp ended in 2017, Ben had to return to the UK due to visa rules and regulations. But they told us they were going to take the second contract on the Royal Caribbean and the the Seas in a few months. But this time they were a couple. Maybe they had to share a very, very small cabin with one tiny little bed. It was very clear they wanted to be together and we're going to make it happen. Their international romance was on. During the second Royal Caribbean stint, they made a plan for the future. Ben would come to the States and become a pilot. I like to think I had a little influence on that, that decision. Uh, then, with some encouragement from his granddad and both families, Ben applied to school, took care of travel and visa applications and other logistics to make it happen. Their transatlantic love affair was not to be taken lightly. They were moving forward. The second summer at EKC, many back and forth trips to the UK, we knew he was alone.
As we have gotten to know Margaret, Gary, Kate, Prince, Jaden, James, Lisa, and the extended family in the UK, I know this to be true. We are so lucky.
boisterous and full of energy. The life of the party. Ben, you are the calm to her storm. Calm, cool, and collected from the day we met you. You seem to have found the perfect balance in one another. That balance will come in handy in life. We cannot wait to watch it as it unfolds. Certainly it will have ups and downs as life and marriage do, but the love you share and the balance you have found will get you through it all and make you all that much stronger. In addition to this day being their wedding day, it is also Jamie's graduation day with her master's. Obviously, she could not be there to, um, to commencement, even if it was online or what have you. But Jamie, we are so proud of you. Planning a wedding and finishing up your second degree at the same time is definitely an accomplishment and a reason to celebrate. Congratulations on two jobs well done. Jamie and Ben. We love you both very much with all our hearts. Here's to you today, tomorrow, and always. You both have a great sense of adventure. I mean, you met while traveling on a cruise ship. So wherever this journey takes you, enjoy the adventure. Know we are always here to love and support you. So, here's to a long and happy life. We wish you both congratulations. Awesome. Yes, he does. Yay! Thank you, everyone, for being here. Live love. Live life love with us tonight. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. I hope you can all hear me. Yep. Yep. Final applause. Okay, so everyone can hear me, can you understand me? I, I realize I'm speaking English and from the majority of you guys here tonight, that is a foreign language. So if you can't understand me, find me at the bar or the dance floor later, we'll talk about it. I'll explain what I'm saying. Now I've been told by Ben and Jamie tonight to keep this short, this speech nice, short and sweet. Uh, that's actually how Ben describes Jamie to all the people in the UK that haven't met her yet. Now, when Ben first met Jamie, I was on the phone to him talking about his new job on the cruise. He said, yeah, this um, small American girl uh, from the kids' entertainment section on the ship, she's uh, pretty into me. She's uh, following me around all the time, she's bumping into me and making excuses to like, meet up and stuff. It was um, only a little bit later in that conversation that he mentioned she also worked on the ship. It was a big sigh for me. <laughs> yeah. They um, definitely hit it off straight away. And on April 1st, 2017, Jamie announced to Ben that he was going to be a father. And April Fool's joke that I stuck with Ben for a long time. <laughs> Set the bar high, which I'm sure Ben has raised the bar a little bit, but set a good foundation for the relationship. Um, even after that full joke, though, Ben was very excited to introduce James to us. And when the ship did finally come to England, he introduced us to us all, and we looked straight over the top of her. Yeah, there she is. We finally saw her. Fantastic. Also managed to smuggle me on board that ship, then courtesy three, three days cruise. Really nice. Really, really nice. Um, I didn't bring this um, 3D printed stuff that everyone else had, but I've got one of these ones that isn't quite as easy to read. And it says 15%, so I'm going to speed it up. <laughs> so uh, after a career of you know, playing games, doing outdoors activities, messing around on the wakeboard. It took him several years doing all of that. Ben decided it was time he grew up. So he, so he quit his job, left home, moved to America with his girlfriend, and um, went back to school. It's not the move I would have said was growing up, but it's, it was a move. It was a move. He got there. But, um, it went from strength to strength, and your little family grew. Um, led Jet to the family, your uh, non-biological child. Yeah. Uh, 
I was not too late for Fiesta at this time, so that was good. And uh, that was the top man in your life now, Jacob. Ben, hopefully taking a close second place. Um, these things are horrible to work. Uh, but through these years, Jamie has supported Ben when he needs it, encouraged you when times were tough, and did your homework when that was tough too. <laughs> and I was having a bit of an issue trying to work out how I was going to finish the speech tonight because we've had so many fantastic speeches today, in the last couple of days. I, I didn't really know what I would say that was original that hadn't already been said about you guys. Um, there were so many lovely words about both of you, and I think that does the credit to both of you. You're surrounded by great people, and they've all stuck by you and with you because you are both great people. So I'll just finish off with saying this. Ben, Jamie is awesome, and you've done fantastic. You're a lucky guy. And Jamie, for the first time today, I think, hopefully, I know that must be saying it, but I'm proud to welcome you to the family. I was told I wasn't allowed to make people cry. That limited my speech. So, uh, a quick toast from me. I'm sure there's going to be more toasts coming. To Ben and Jamie. Hello. Hello everyone, I'm Joe, one of Ben's best men. Yes, I'm men plural. It's an honour and privilege to share the responsibility with his brother James, especially at a venue as stunning as this. Despite what James might say, I am definitely best man in the world. When Ben asked me to be his best man, I agreed to do so on a couple of conditions. Firstly, that the wedding would be something locally in the hall. Secondly, it would be somewhere close and easy for me to get to. <laughs> and finally, that I wouldn't have to make a speech. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've managed to take exactly zero of those three boxes. But I couldn't be happy about it. Uh, before I go any further, Jamie, it goes without saying that you look absolutely breathtaking. But when I say that I, you are out of, clearly out of Ben's league, I don't just mean because of the absurd light difference between the two of you. I think we can all agree the new Mrs. Ridgeway looks incredible and Ben is a very lucky man. My favourite moment of the wedding so far was, when, uh, was the look on Ben's face after he'd seen you for the first time today. Okay, technically my favourite, favourite moment so far was when I absolutely destroyed Ben's brother-in-law Prince at poker last night. <laughs> Puzzled. But the look on uh, Ben's face this morning was an extremely close second. A toast to the beautiful bride. <laughs> I've known Ben quite literally as long as I can remember. We were first met when we were still in nappies, diapers as we call them. Uh, when Ben's mum, Margaret, ran a childcare service out of their home in rural West Wales. We were close in age and both liked the same things, mainly digging through mud, smashing up rocks, hurling toys at each other, and generally just annoying the other children, including Ben's sister Kate, and especially poor James, who got the full brunt of our irritating force. <laughs> Naturally, we got on like a house on fire and quickly became best friends. And I've stayed as much to this day, despite the considerable distance between where we go As Margaret briefly mentioned last night, I was very much the bad influence friend of Ben's growing up. I was the devil on his shoulder, whispering into his ear, encouraging him to get up to all kinds of trouble with me. Throw the ball at James's head, Ben. Drink this, Ben. Smoke this, Ben. <laughs> Margaret, I hate to tell you this, but you probably don't know the half of what we got up to in our teenage years. There are some stories I could stand here and tell you that would absolutely horrify you. But to save Jamie's family from losing any respect for them that they currently have, and to save myself from Margaret's wrath, I will keep them to myself for now. On the other hand, it is fairly early. Ask me 
after a couple more drinks, and I might tell you more stories. <laughs> I'm not lying when I say I consider Ben a brother of mine. Growing up, I spent so much time with him and his family, I called his wonderful grandparents, Nanny and Granddad. Popped in to see them every time I went to see Ben. Even now, I take my three-year-old daughter on playdates with Ben's nephews, Reese and Lewis. We've gone full circle, and little bridgeways are playing with little Spiteras again, so it all must be right in the world. Although I can't be that important to him, given how far away he sat me. Come and say hello if you fancy a 20 minute walk to the back of the tent over there. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Through some whales and everything, mate. Right? <laughs> some of my favourite memories of growing up are the weekends I spent with Ben doing next to nothing. Our legendary chill out days would consist of having absolutely no plans except lazing around playing video games and, of course, tormenting James. Ben's always been so laid back that he's practically horizontal. If you told me at age 16 that this guy would become a fully qualified pilot in the next 15 years, I would have called you a liar and laughed in your face. His super chilled out approach to life is a trait that I have no doubt would have driven Jamie insane in the build up to the wedding. I can only imagine the look on her face every time she asked him to pick two different options of his opinion on what colour scheme might work best, only to be met with, I don't mind, honestly. I'm happy with either, every single time. I can only apologise on his behalf and promise he does care and he wanted you to have just have whatever you wanted. So please try and reduce the urge to punch him in his smug, relaxed face when his laid back approach to life occasionally pisses you off. I will end by telling my favourite story about the man himself, which sums up everything I love about him. It's fine, don't worry, it's not one of those. That's for later. At age 13, I had serious surgery to the back of my head, which left me pretty vulnerable in that area. Ben and his family had plans to go ice skating and asked if I wanted to join them. Without hesitation, of course I jumped at the chance to hang out with my best friend and said yes. My parents told me that I could go on condition that I wore a bike helmet while I skated. Mortified at the thought I'd be the only person on the rig wearing a helmet, looking like I was on a day out with the Wake-A-Wish Foundation, <laughs> sending my already blown street prep plummeting even further, I told Ben that I couldn't come. When he asked why, I told him the truth. I didn't want to look like a complete moron and get laughed at. Ben looked at me, shrugged his shoulders and said, no big deal, I'll wear one too. Instantly my mood changed. My partner in crime was happy to look just as lame as me if it meant that I would come too. Being the carefree teens we were, and let's face it, not want to look like complete dogs. We took the helmets off within 30 seconds to step onto the ice. My parents were none the wiser. The fact that he was prepared to do it in the first place simply sums him up. Jamie, despite how frustrating he might be at times, sitting there playing Dota 2 or whatever crap for just hours on end, he's married an absolute diamond of a human being, and I wish you nothing but love and happiness for the pair of you. Thank you so much for asking me to be part of your special day. You really don't know what it means to me. Then I can't put into words how proud of you I am watching you become the man you are today. And I know those feelings will be shared, more than shared, by both your dad and your brother if they were here to see it themselves. Can't tell you how happy it makes me to see you fulfill your dream of becoming a pilot. Which I'm still not convinced is actually true, by the way. <laughs> this guy, pilot? Like, have you met Ben? But seriously, the stunning pictures you take on your journeys give me so much joy and a bit of envy as I sit at my computer working my boring 9 to 5 standard job. You're winning that life, and I love you. Let's hear it from both of us uh, Just please join me in raising a glass to this wonderful couple and in wishing them a lifetime of love and happy memories together. Mazel tov! Oldest of the three, 15 months older than Jamie, and five years older than Matt. We are very close siblings, and we know each other very, very well. We know what makes each other happy, mad, sad, anxious. We know how to push each other's buttons, but we also know how to support each other. 
For 29 of my 30 years, I've had a little sister. We've grown up together, shared friends, which I did not always love, and even shared one of our favorite things, our baby brother. When that came into our lives, our sibling unit was complete, or so we thought. When we were young, we loved to play dress up, put on shows with our cousins, make sand art, and one thing we really loved to do was make singing videos. <laughs> we thought we were the next Disney Channel stars. Jamie with her froggy voice, and me with my theatrics. Clearly that did not pan out. Another experience that the three of us shared that impacted our lives tremendously was our many summers spent at Emma Kaufman Camp. For all three of us, EKC was our happy place. We created lasting memories with each other and many friends that are here tonight to celebrate. Let me give you guys a little timeline. In 2003, Grandma Maxine and Grandpa Bill took us on our first family cruise. It was the beginning of our love affair with cruises, and it was the first of many to come, especially for Jamie. We made many friends on these cruises from all over the world. It opened our eyes to the possibilities of adventure, which we all embraced, but Jamie took it to the next level. Fast forward a few years, a couple family cruises later, into Jamie's bat mitzvah, themed Cruise the Night Away with Jamie. The sign is still hanging on her bedroom door at my parents' house. <laughs> next came semester at sea. She just couldn't get enough of the sweet life. Shortly after graduating from college in 2016, she started working for Royal Caribbean, as youth staff, where she combined her love of camp and kids with her love of cruising. Little did she know, this was where she would meet the love of her life and us, a new sibling. Enter Benjamin Martin Woodger Ridgewood. Spring of 2017, when we met Ben while vacationing on Independence of the Seas, we knew everything had changed. We had never seen Jamie so happy. I'd like to think it was her excitement to see us, but I know it was her excitement for us to meet Ben. As soon as we met him, I knew he'd fit right in. Since then, Ben and I have gotten to know each other quite well. The more I got to know Ben, the more I recognized how opposites really do attract. Ben is more reserved. Jamie is not. Ben would rather have a night in. Jamie would rather have a night out on the town. Ben is tall, Jamie is short. Ben is the calm to Jamie's storm, sometimes hurricane. They are a perfect fit. Summer 2017, Jamie brought Ben to camp. He shared our happy place. We knew Ben was here to stay when camp was involved. He got to see us in our element, and he became one with all of our friends as well. Fall 2017, I traveled to the UK, and I crashed Jamie and Ben visit, family visit. I was the first of the Scots, besides Jamie, to meet Margaret, Gary, James, Kate, Prince, and Granddad John. We spent time playing board games, having family dinner, and just hanging out. I quickly noticed that our family dynamic was very similar. Jamie was so comfortable with them, and so was I. Fast forward another cruise contract later to the summer of 2018. Jamie brought Ben back to camp. It was a done deal. Not only did she bring this Welshman to Morgantown, West Virginia once, but twice, and he came with me. In January of 2019, many tears over the visa process later, Ben moved to Pittsburgh to start flight school and to be with Jamie, I guess. Jamie, Ben, and I shared an apartment. When writing the speech, I texted Jamie asking how long we lived together, just for reference. for reference. With no hesitation, she quickly responded, too long. <laughs> we definitely learned that the three of us were better off not being roommates. We may never be roommates again, but we will forever be single. Now, Ben has fulfilled his dreams of becoming a pilot, just like his granddad John, and it is not my nature to say this, but I'm really proud of you. And one day, maybe I'll muster up the courage to go up in the Cessna with you. Jamie, you put so much time and effort into this day, and it turned out beautifully. 
I admire your dedication and your passion and your work and in your relationships, and I'm proud to be your sister. Ben, you are officially invited to the sibling group chat, especially now that you succumbed come to the American way and you got an iPhone. I love you too, and I can't wait for many more adventures ahead. Cheers to smooth sailing through life with no choppy waters. And in the words of Jesse McCartney, you found your beautiful soul mate.